Hi, I'm here with Dr. Rudy and we're going to be discussing eye health. So Dr. Rudy, talk to me about eye health. What can everybody be doing to um, you know, promote our eye health? Well, first of all, uh, uh, eye health, uh, you should be concerned about eye health when you're a teenager already because uh, teenagers would be exposed to a lot of sunlight, they go mm. sunbathing, they go uh, spring break, uh, that sort of activity, uh, outdoor activities. and ultraviolet light and ozone and it can cause UV damage to the eye at a very early age. Now many Americans when they get older find out that they have uh, age-related macular degeneration but it's not just because you're older it's also because you've had bad habits all along and you haven't had the proper uh, nutrients that help protect your eye. So you mentioned proper nutrients. What are those nutrients to promote eye health? Well, uh, omega-3s, uh, both uh, fish-based and uh, plant-based mm -hmm. omega-3s are important nutrients to uh, reduce uh, inflammation in the body. Then the carotenoids are very, very important. Uh, you have enough beta-carotene probably in your diet. However, lutein, zeaxanthin, and astaxanthin are extremely important because they cross the blood eye barrier they go into your macula which is the back of the eye where the fovea is where the, all the light focuses and light can cause uh, free radical damage ultraviolet damage mm -hmm. it can create uh, ozone free radicals like in your eye and these pigments are antioxidants they prevent the formation of free radicals and they protect the eye now, an important thing in eye health are sunglasses. And my favorite are Oakley's, but I don't sell Oakley's. And uh, uh, su sunglasses can prevent a lot of UV damage to the eyes. Mm. So if you're taking the proper carotenoids, then you have sunglasses inside your eye, plus these, and together, that's a very important package. Now, once you have age-related macular degeneration, there's several other things associated with that. For instance, dry eye or wet eye. Mm -hmm. Dry eye is usually the very first thing you get. And if you're suffering from dry eye or you have a family history of the potential to get dry eye, you must take things like krill oil, EPA, DHA, phospholipids, because your eye's mass is about 20 to 40 percent DHA and that DHA always has a turnover if you're not supplementing yourself or you're not eating a lot of fish then there is uh, potential for depletion. What kind of foods could I eat to boost my eye health um, and is general health import is general health important for eye health? Yes we uh, we are now finding out that uh, you don't necessarily have to take supplements that go into your eye and help protect the eye. That's kind of important, but equally important is your general health. Mm. Now, I know uh, several uh, retinal surgeons, I know several eye doctors, I've talked to them, and they can look in your eyes and they can tell whether you have diabetes. They can look at your eyes and see if, if you have chronic inflammation. In fact, if you have chronic inflammation in your body, it will impact your eyes more than anything else in your body. So now we believe that a lot of eye problems are caused by chronic inflammation, long-term chronic inflammation. And it's best to take, eat foods that help put carotenoids in your eyes and improve your, your general health. So let's talk about things like you want to make sure you eat foods that are rich in B vitamins, fish, meat, etc. If you're a vegetarian, uh, then you need to take supplements because you're not going to get that from the food you eat. Uh, you have to also make sure that uh, you're getting the carotenoids, so lettuce, uh, green, green things, uh, beets, uh, uh, carrots, uh, cabbage, uh, all those things have lutein and zeaxanthin in it. Even corn. Is I'm not a big fan of eating a lot of corn because it's a very caloric and has a lot of omega-6 in it. However, corn also contains lutein. Lutein is very healthy for the eyes. 
So in general, if you can reduce inflammation in your body by exercising, having a proper diet, eating things rich in carotenoids, and also reducing inflammation by taking omega-3s like ALA perilla oil, chia oil, uh, EPA, DHA, phospholipids, the chances of you getting macular de degeneration later in your life, in my opinion, is practically zero. Uh, if you don't do those things, or if you're a smoker and you're constantly getting smoke in your eyes, that's definitely, you're, you're, you're gonna get macular de degeneration, heavy drinking, alcohol consumption, all those things, I think, I personally feel that moderate drinking is good for your health. It's better than your. It's it's better for your health than not drinking, okay. But over drinking too much, more than say three drinks a day, three or more drinks a day, can really impact your general health. And if your general health is bad, your eye health is going to be bad. So I think that's a good summary of of the, the issues involved. And don't forget the uh, sunglasses. sunglasses. Thank you so much, Dr. Rudy, for the invaluable information. Um, I mean, everybody needs to protect their eyes. Well, Dr. Rudy was created to give people information that they can use to improve their lives and have graceful aging. And uh, there's one, one more thing I want to say, and that is this. Uh, one time I had a hand injury and I couldn't use my right hand. But, you know, I have a left hand and I could do a lot of things. I'm having dexterous anyway, but I'm just saying you can get along with that. However, if you start losing your eyesight, it completely changes your life. You can't drive. There's so many things you can't do, and there's no spare that can replace it. There are no eye transplants, for instance. So I think it's an important uh, thing. Thank you, Claire. Thank you.